Okay, so we've been doing this thing called Milk Monday, <laughs> and this this is how we go. This is how we go through all of our milk, um, no. or any excess we have that's less than five days old. We like to make into cheese on Monday, and then what we do, we're doing a um, skim mozzarella right now. So Brienne's gonna skim all the milk. I'm gonna take that cream and leave it at room temperature and turn it into butter. So it's kind of a really good way to use. Excessive amounts of milk. And we've made we've made cheddars too, but we just don't have the storage space right now. So we're just trying to use our excess milk to use things that we can store because the moths we can freeze. Whereas the cheddar has to age, and I just don't have the proper place to age it right now. But Can't... we also make <clears throat> what else have we been making? We've been making ricotta just about every week. And we've been making cream cheese, and we've been making buttermilk, and we've been making Yogurt. Yogurt is delicious. And butter. Well, you just said butter. Yeah, and we're trying to, as our cow has a lot of milk right now and no calf, it's a great time for us to kind of stockpile some of these dairy items. Away. Yeah, because we're going to have to dry her off before she calves. <laughs> yeah. So, the reason it's Milk Monday is because we always feel... We always feel a little bit behind on Monday because the weekend. Um, on Sunday, we try not to do any extra work, um, and we're pretty busy with church and activities. Um, and then on Saturday, we've been trying to do one project with the kids, something that we can all do together. Since that's really with the big kids, that's the time that we get, um, because they do go to school during the week. So this past weekend, we planted potatoes. <laughs> so in addition to Saturday, uh, we have this rooster that was being pretty mean to Mabel, and uh, she's supposed to be my egg collector, so I can't get, have someone get in the way of my egg collection. So basically, he had to go. So I'm also just going to process the chicken this morning because that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to find a nice little spot in the shade, make it happen. got a little excited so we're gonna have to find like a much larger garden to put potatoes in <laughs> you think i got too many um i'm afraid that you got a lot more than we were planning to grow well you know i was in there and they were like we got seed potatoes and i was like all right give me a 50 pound bag yeah i think we're gonna end up planting about maybe 10 maybe 10 pounds of this bag do you think that we can have potatoes all through winter and not have to buy any. That is an awesome goal. We have to store them better this time. Yes, we can't let them freeze. There's so, the I'm cutting them because they don't need to be this big. And we want them to be able to grow um, nice big potatoes so they want to have a lot of space. So if you cut them like this, you have less eyes. If so, I were to put the whole potato in, it'd be kind of, it might be crowded. Got it. And then we'd have which isn't bad, you just have smaller potatoes. But we want these to turn into big boys. Yeah, ideally. I like your prep table. Thanks. I think every good garden needs a prep table. <laughs> we could build a cool one like Jason's. That's more of a harvesting table though. The one with like the, has the hardware cloth on it? Yeah. It's like a washing station. Yes. We the could build that but with a cool prep table as part of it. Ooh. Why are you planting whole potatoes? because these are called seed potatoes and this is the seed of the potatoes. See all these little eyes growing? Those are gonna grow more plants. Can I cut it? You can't let it roll out from under you because that's how you get hurt. <coughs> Pay attention to what you're doing. And this one I think we can get three. So cut it there, slowly, carefully. <laughs> She's a little scary, but I <laughs> Okay, and then what do you think, like there? Now it's gonna roll, so be careful. 
So this is the onion row. Do you think I got enough onions? I, I hope we got enough, but maybe not. Oh. I think our ratio, you know, like onion to potato is a little off. Probably. Cool. So what colors do we have? Blue. <laughs> Blue onions, never heard of them before. They're really good for it's a rare type of onion. <laughs> really nutritious. They, they only grow in the Blue Ridge Mountains? Yeah! <laughs> that one has a little sprout on it. So I dropped a little compost on top. And here we go with the onion sets. These are yellow, and we have white, and we have red. Sweet. And we but have aquamarine. Maddie's okay. like a regular Luther Burbank. Next step, we need to get this four gallons of milk up to 55 degrees. This is real life. And I could put makeup on. <laughs> I could have my kitchen all perfectly clean. But instead, I'm gonna show you how it really is because it's not always glamorous. And sometimes you look like you just rolled out of bed and you're making cheese, and you're making granola, and your kitchen's a mess. So, I'm gonna make the granola, and then get to the cleaning. Once this reaches 55 degrees is when I add a little bit of citric acid dissolved in water. Um, this recipe is venison for dinner. It is her big batch, no fuss mozzarella. And it has saved my life <laughs> because this is a lot of milk and we need to use it. And we want to use it. And we want to use it in a way that our family will eat it. And it doesn't take too much fuss to take care of. Awesome recipe. Okay, now once we are at 55 and we've got the citric acid in, then we go ahead and we wait till it's at 88, I think? 88 degrees to add the remnant. I dream of a counter that I don't have to balance a cutting board on between the stove and the sink. A real countertop. See, big dreams, you know? Your standards get really low when you live in a camper. And you dream of things like a countertop to do your cooking on. I'm making this with walnuts and pecans, and actually a little bit of hazelnuts, only because it's what I have. I prefer to make it with um, pecans and almonds. That's the best. Okay, we're 
at 88 degrees. This is rennet and water. Another thing on my dream list is when I finally have an oven that actually fits a full sheet tray that a full piece of parchment fits on and that I can do two sheets of granola at one time. That I was certainly used to an oven that had two racks. Then I have this here fancy easy bake oven and it only holds one rack. And I don't know if I would have ever appreciated having two racks in an yes! oven. Because someday, I'm gonna have an oven that has two racks. Hey Ben, what are you doing? You know, my favorite Monday task, washing mason jars. How about nuts? <laughs> How about nuts? How about nuts? How about no nuts? How about nuts? I don't know. Recipe may have saved my life. Yeah. Four gallons of milk. It is an awesome recipe. Easy peasy, quick, tons of mozzarella. You could put mozzarella on anything. It's true. Stretchy, delicious mozzarella. I mean, I'm going to put it in my baked mac and cheese tonight. Ooh, and that's going to be stretchy. I put it in my cheese dip yesterday. <laughs> and I'm going to put it on pizza every Friday of my life. <laughs> And just like that, we've got granola. For days. Now we can go to the toy store. Yes, close the See the pipes. This is a big walk. <laughs> You're so strong. Okay. All right, so here we go. Uh, moving forward on the house. Um, sometimes in these projects, you got to step outside your comfort zone. So Brienne has been the mutter all the way through this, but she's got so much going on in the garden and milk and just being a parent. Uh, I'm just going to start doing the mud or we're not going to get done. So I'm going to try and mud some of the ceiling as best I can. And I know there's artistry to it, and maybe this is a learning curve for me, a learning step, how to be a little more artistic in my finish work. Okay, so I feel like I'm getting better. It took a little bit to warm up, but I'm gonna try and do this next seam kind of seamlessly. We'll see what happens. Oh. 